Well, it seems the wait is over for Kamala Harris's policy positions, but there's not very many people that are excited about this, at least those that know how economics actually works. She has proposed instituting price controls for things like groceries. Now, mind you, she's also come out and said no tax on tips. She stole that from Trump. And now she's talking about an additional child tax credit, which was J.D. Vance's idea. But anyway, this is all her idea, or at least she claims, because there's plenty of Marxists and communists that have done the exact same thing, and it has failed. Even Obama's former economic advisor says this is a bad idea, and we look to history for why. So for an example, we don't have to look very far, just in the not-too-distant past in Venezuela, where Maduro put similar price controls in place and inflation skyrocketed. See, when you do this, you run people out of business because they can't make a profit anymore producing these things, and then there becomes shortages. It also drives inflation through the roof. As you can see in this graph, it went up 1.3 million percent. That's a lot. So the actual result of this is less people producing goods, which creates shortages and massive inflation. Let's not forget it's the policies under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris that have gotten us to this place where inflation has been out of control. The supply chain was totally messed up and housing is totally unaffordable. And now we're seeing that we're back up to 2017 levels for bankruptcies. Even the Washington Post is calling Kamala a communist when she proposed these price controls. You know it's bad. So the policies under Kamala Harris and Joe Biden economically have been a disaster, and it seems Kamala is doubling down on dumb.